Have you ever noticed a discrepancy between the actual miles driven and the miles left displayed on your Tesla screen? Have you ever experienced phantom draining issues? In today's video, I will share with you my experience as a new Tesla Model 3 owner and what Tesla has told me. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Joy. I am right now sitting at a supercharging center getting my car charged, charged up. And I thought I'd uh, do this video because I realized that this is uh, something that I learned um, within the first week of getting my Model 3. And also um, a lot of people that I see, including a co-worker of mine, whom I convinced to get a Model 3 as well. And she, she picked up hers uh, just a little over a week ago. And it is what is the maximum mileage uh, range of um, the Tesla Model 3. Now, the first two weeks after I took delivery in July, I had really terrible phantom draining issue where I would lose like 10, 15 miles of range per day. And uh, within pretty much the first week, um, you know, this was really frustrating as you can imagine. And I start thinking about how uh, electric vehicle works, especially this Tesla. This is, te um, this is my first um, electric vehicle. Is that I realized that with my old gas car, when I go and fill up the gas, the gas is contributing to the mileage range but there's a separate battery that feeds through the electrical system to power your um, AC, your stereo and whatever. So when I was uh, doing my commute between home and work, which is, which is about 10 miles every day, initially the first week I was freaking out because on the navigation it was say 10 miles, but then when I reach my destination, all of a sudden the mileage is actually more than 10 miles. And I, I kept thinking I was, there's something wrong with the car. I was freaking out. And then this phantom draining issue, I was freaking out the first two weeks. Um, but then I quickly realized that, wait a minute, now I'm driving an electric vehicle. Everything is powered off of this battery in the car. So the mileage that I, was used to before driving a gas car no longer applies really, if you think about it. Because as I explained just now, your gas was, was supplying to the engine that does the work to drive the motors and that's how you get the range in mileage. Um, while you have a separate battery that feeds through the electrical system. But now when you're driving a Tesla, an EV, everything is feeding through that electrical that battery so the everything is electrical now so this battery is actually using more power than you know just the driving itself so as soon as i realized this i switched my display from displaying how many miles were left to simply the energy or the battery percentage. Um, so it's just like your laptop or your cell phone where it has that battery percentage range. And then after that, everything makes sense and I no longer think about mileage, uh, range in mileage, but um, what the battery percentage is. So back to the phantom draining issue, um, I bugged the heck out of Tesla uh, service center and I even escalated this to the executive team and an, an engineer actually called me back and uh, explained to me in deeper 
or greater detail on how the battery works, which I really appreciate it. So my background is actually electrical engineering. I'm not an uh, engineer anymore, but I am still in the technical field, so I can still grasp that concept. So when he was talking, telling me, he said, you know, um, when you're looking at this range, you know, you should really look at the battery. I'm like, that's what I've, I, or I'm already doing that because this is what I have realized. Um, it's really about the battery, not the, the mileage, because everything now goes through that battery system. He's like, thank goodness. Um, you are light years ahead of everybody else. I wish everybody that was taking delivery, people at the delivery center would tell people, explain to people this, then people won't be freaking out so much about um, the, bat, the mileage range. So um, this is what I recommend. Uh, all the new Tesla owners or even existing one or even you're thinking about buying a Tesla or EV to rethink the way um, about this car because this is not the same as a traditional um, gas engine car so you know there are other little things with the Tesla that I had to undo and relearn so for example there's no on off button you get in the car you put it in reverse or drive and off you go and when you leave you just park it and walk out and music still playing the ac still blasting so uh it's a bit weird uh in the beginning but you know it's just a learning process or we have to undo the things that we we learned when we were driving a gasoline vehicle and now we have this um this whole other category of vehicle so i hope um this has been helpful and um I hope that uh, this would help to um, clarify some of the mileage range issue that people often ask. Um, switch everything, or actually switch a display to the battery percentage, your life will be so much better. Um, and another thing is when I had that phantom draining issue, it eventually went away. Um, so I was, I was really happy about that. I was losing um, about 3% uh, of charge per day or translates to about 10 miles per day. So that was pretty big. And so um, I, what I did was I um, actually tinted my windows and then I went and got a sunshade. So uh, when I park outside, which is most of the time, because I don't have cover parking where I live, um, I just put the sunshade on um, because I also realized that the center display gets hot under the sun. And it may send a signal to the battery management system telling the battery, hey, it's really hot. You need to, you know, turn on the cooling to cool the battery down. And when you leave your vehicle unattended for a period of time, um, it'll, the battery will, will drain itself because, um, you know, of the, the battery management system. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to drain itself because it will. Uh, just like your laptop, just like your cell phone, if you're sitting, setting your cell phone out there, not touching it, nothing, it will still drain. And same thing with the Tesla um, battery, it will drain. However, in the in the owner's manual, it does say that it is normal to have have drainage of uh, on the average of one percent per day. Uh, so after the first two weeks my phantom draining went away and that has pretty much been the case now when i went on vacation in august i was gone for nine full days so august in la um it's hot outside so uh like i said i had the windows tinted i just put the sunshade on i didn't fire up my um app to check the car the, the whole time i was gone and um i called tesla and said hey i'm go about to go on this vacation it's uh, you know more than a week uh, what should I do? What, what do you recommend? So Tesla actually recommended that I charge the car up to 80% for, you know, storage purposes. So I did that. And nine days later, when I came back, I figured, well, if I lose 1% a day or even 2% a day, um, you know, I charge up to 80%, I would probably have 70, 75, 
you know, 70 ish percentage, um, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, 60, um, percent, you know, if it 10 percent is down to 70, um, or 60 high sixties. So to my surprise, when I came back, um, got in the car and check the battery indicator and I actually only lost 4% of battery, which is quite amazing. So it turned out to be less than half a percentage, uh, probably like 0.4% of battery loss per day. So um, I actually just came back from a trip two weeks ago and I was gone for six full days. And again, I only lost 4% uh, overall over that six days. So I hope this information is helpful. Uh, if you want to minimize your battery drainage issue, um, I recommend that you tint your car windows, go invest in that sunshade. Um, I will link the sunshade product that I use down below if it's great and it's been working fine. It's um, light, compact, you know, uh, very easy to store. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I hope that um, now you understand a little bit better about how the Tesla battery works and that you don't have to dread about losing miles uh, when you drive. Um, if you enjoy this video, please like it, share it, comment, subscribe, and let me know uh, your comments down below. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Have a blessed week.